this is perfect, Tabitha. Charity's off skiing and snowboarding with the rest of the gang, and Miguel's not going to the mountains to join them. <laughs> well, you have yourself to thank for that, Kay. Using the video phone to show Miguel recent Charity cavorting in the hot tub was inspired. Now Miguel truly believes that Charity has moved on and forgotten all about him. Yes, but the inspiration was yours and little Endora's. I mean, putting that spell on Reese to make him look like a hunk. Oh, that's what started everything. <laughs> yes, I must admit, Endora is an amazing baby. <laughs> oh, could that be? I'll get it. Kay, I'm sorry. I don't want to upset you. I just thought that Miguel could use a break from working so many jobs and going to school. Laura, I don't mean to sound ungrateful, but Miguel and I really don't have the money for him to go skiing and snowboarding. Babies are expensive, you know, and we're still trying to pay for all of Maria's hospital bills. I know. I know money is tight, and that's why I'm going to pay for Miguel to go. No, Mama, I, I can't let you do that. Mijo, please, please let me give you the gift of some free time. But you have your own bills to worry about. I'd rather see my own son happy. The bills can wait till next week. I'll take Maria home with me tonight, and that way you can have a night off too, Kay. Well, that's very sweet of you, Pilar. Um, maybe Miguel and I could just go to a movie or something. Well, actually, I, I think he could use some time to just get away. I'm sorry I don't have money for both of you to go. Mijo, go with Charity. Spend some time with her, okay? I, I can't thank you enough, Mama. Yeah, let me have this beautiful baby. Hi. Yes, the only are. problem is... Uh, I don't really think Charity wants me there. Why not? Well, I know for a fact that she's having a pretty good time without me. Miguel, she loves you, mijo. Just go. Talk with her. You'll see. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again, Mama. You're welcome, mijo. Bye, honey. I'll see you when I get back, all right, Kay? See you, Tapitha. Mm. I think I have enough uh, formula and diapers at the house. So all I need is my beautiful granddaughter. Thank you so much, Pilar. Okay. Good night, Tabitha. Good night, Pilar. Bye. I can't believe this. Ugh. To do something, Kay, you can't let Charity and Miguel but together. I know, but what am I going to do? You've got to keep Miguel away from Charity. I know we do, but how he's already gone. I don't know. Okay, you're the witch. Use your powers to stop him. Use my powers? But you know my powers are very limited. I already used what was left of them to turn Reese into a stud muffin so he could turn Charity's head. Well, you can try, can't you? Cast a spell. Okay, make a bridge collapse. Cause this car to break down. I don't know. Do something. Oh, I'm sorry, Kay. I wish I could. You know, I have as much at stake in this, in keeping them apart, as you do. But if Charity and Miguel make love, she'll come into her full powers of goodness, and then she'll destroy me and Endora as well. Well, my baby could die, too. Okay, Charity made a deal with death that to give up Miguel, death would spare Maria. If she goes back on her word, my baby could die. I'm sorry, Kay. My powers are so low these days. Well, can we at least keep tabs on Miguel, watch him in that magic bowl of water? I suppose. It's in the kitchen. Well, let's bring it in here. Okay, I've got to find out what's going on with Charity and Miguel. Mm. I don't see anything. What's taking so long? Be patient, Kay. The water has to warm up. Oh, there they are. Yes, I see them. How am I ever going to keep those two apart? <sighs> no! Isn't there something you can do? No, dear. As I've told you, my powers are spent. I've lost him. Miguel forever.